three, two passengers on board the aircraft. Roger, that's copied. File one, two, three, four. Did you copy the message? Uh, we have nothing at the moment uh, in our uh, manifest to indicate there are dangerous goods on board the aircraft. Roger, that's copied. The runway aircraft has landed on the runway. Uh, all vehicles uh, proceed as requested. Well, as you can tell, I'm struggling to take care of the I say we pretty quite do the Roger, we'll get in touch with um, the rendezvous point and ask them to be escorted down as soon as they arrive. Uh, no one at the rendezvous point at this moment. Inside, the lines a crew are making entry at this time. Any hazards of navigation? No, no, no hazards. No, no, no. There's two, there is external fire, it's by three, five crew, engine three and four. Just to confirm where we are at the moment, guys, um, aircraft uh, full emergency, obviously aircraft landed, um, engine three and four was on at a fire situation. Fires, external fires were uh, extinguished. Uh, we've got crews inside once all external fires were out. Crews inside to do a search. Um, the aircraft was found to be clear. Uh, all three decks were clear. Um, we, local authority in attendance, um, what we instructed them to do was to set up a casualty clearance zone too. And also, as if they could work with us to get an update on the POB of how many itself are back. Okay, uh, Jason Adams from uh, Birmingham Airport. Um, today we've uh, had some training on uh, the VR system here at Teesside. Um, it's our first experience. We had a couple of hours training on it this morning. Um, I took on the role myself of uh, instant command. Uh, the guys left and right of me took on uh, the crew commander uh, roles. Um, good experience. Um, the, the lads look as if they've uh, have enjoyed the experience. Um, the communications was, was very good amongst ourselves. And um, you know, look forward to uh, coming back and having another go. Uh, John Rackton from Manchester Airport. Uh, first time I've used VR uh, system in my career, and it was good for the command and control side. And the incident we did today was at A380. And even though we accept the A380 in Manchester, we don't often get the opportunity to try anything like this on that type of aircraft. So it's perfect. Hello, uh, my name is Chris Boyne from Harden. Um, first time to use this system. I um, found it very realistic um, and real time um, and really brought it on to about resource level in um, all the equipment.